I took a little oil. extra virgin olive oil. I took two medium shallots. I took about seven scallions. I took the whites off, and I start to sweat this down. Okay. And you left the greens. I left the greens. Okay. Because I'm going to put them in in a little while, but I oh, didn't okay. want them to turn brown. Okay. Here you left that. Then we shuck the peas. We have vegetable stock. No, you, you didn't shuck the peas. You shelled the peas. Shelled, shuck. Shuck is corn. Okay. There you go. Right. Well. well Shucks, I, shucks, Mario. I, 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 I shelled the peas. You did, and you did a beautiful job. Right, Look thank at you this. very much. They are beautiful. It's I the perfect love time. spring peas. They are so gorgeous. Then what okay. we have over here is But you can stock. use frozen peas. You can definitely use yeah, frozen peas. And frozen peas are very cool, for they, in my opinion. Oh, they, I, I have love, no problem. I, I don't either. I I'd rather them. have frozen peas than peas that were picked five or eight days ago and have turned to kind of starchiness. Exactly. It's the same thing with corn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I have that going. And now what, how much stock? That's two cups. Oh, okay. But you can... Up this as much as you want. Okay. The trick is vegetable stock works, chicken stock works. I wouldn't use veal stock in this. Okay. Soup. And salt and pepper. And salt and pepper. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the stock right there. I'll try and it. crank okay. the heat full blast. Yep. And add. So this is a very simple. Super simple. Yeah. And that's the beauty of it. I'm going to add just now a little bit more salt. Why did you only add a few peas? I, I think that's enough for that amount of liquid. Two I guess cups. you could add a lot. Let's go ahead. We and measured it. Two cups. Well, I, 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 oh, those I were your, shelled a few okay. more. These, you know how I like to cook these? Shelled. How do you cook those if you just want to eat them? Uh, I would saute them with a little mint and extra virgin olive oil, garlic, and, and a little chilies. water. A little yeah. water. And a splash of water in right mm. at the last second. Mm. Then it gets that steam. It brings out the green. It makes it spectacular. Delicious. Now, while this is coming to the okay. boil, we're going to deal with one of my favorite members of the Lily family, ramps. Oh, you know all about these? I love them. This Saturday, I got uh, three big bunches as a gift. Right. And uh, freshly picked with the roots intact. So instead of eating them, which I really wanted to do, right. I went out and I planted them all because I want to establish on my farm a beautiful ramp. Well, um, that, that's a quite, ramp, something I've ramp always growth. heard. Something I've always heard is that you can't plant them. So I look forward to hearing about your success because I imagine so you So is will that, oh, that's a technique? Yes. I oh, put the oil right on there. On the table and right the salt? Right on the table and the salt, and then oh. I just drag it. So then it doesn't get too oily. If I yeah. spread it on too much, then it I gets a little. I love that. So we're going we're gonna to cook those, and we're going to cook the bread at the same time, because okay. in all great soups in my world, there's always a little crostino going on, yes. which is okay. something that I'm liking. Mm. So those are going. That's going. This is it. That's simple. Soup's coming up so, to a full okay. boil. And I'm going to add a few of the greens now, now that we've almost come to a boil, just a few of the greens of the scallion. And we're going to bring that to a boil. I wish. It's coming, it's coming. Why is it boiling there? Super high. Oh, I didn't even know you had okay. the extra high. Yes, we do. All right, so that's okay. going like that. A little, a little bit longer. One of the worries that I always have when I'm doing something like this, you want to uh, turn those ramps exactly. I am. I'm turning the ramps right now. The nice thing is that you start slow and then build to a full on. This is the part where we actually take off and fly. This is so great. Fly. This is great for the summer drinks that we're all looking forward to. Right, exactly. And uh, it's incredible for a soup like this. Now, what I like to do at the very last second is, is drizzle in a little extra virgin olive oil. It's kind of like adding a little bit of butter to a soup. If you want to take those ramps off and give them a quick, rough chop. A quick what? A quick, rough oh, chop. Oh, a quick, quick rough chop. Because we're going to make a little bruschetta out of okay. them. Okay. Oh, good. And then we take this like that. Oh, yeah. When you blend something so magnificently with such a magnificent oh. tool, then we're going to take a little bit of mint chiffonade. I love the taste of ramps. Ramps taste like onion. They taste like uh, shallot. They taste like chive. Uh, but they have uh, sort of a taste of their own. Right. And right? the beautiful thing about ramps is that they are truly seasonal. In a, in, a, in a time where we can get strawberries every day, including Christmas, the idea that you can only get ramps in the spring brings us to understanding life in just a little bit more Roman way. We put the little crostino on there, a little drizzle of the So mint. the soup actually cooked for about one minute. Yeah, full on boil in one minute. Yeah. The stock was already boiling. We sweated the shallots and a little bit of that. And there you have it. Perfect. So essence, simple essence, soup. essence of peas.